Suppose we manage to identify with confidence the perpetrators of the diabolical attacks, identify those who gave them aid and comfort. Even then, the war against this brand of terrorism will be most unconventional, as correspondent David Martin has been uncovering. Help maintain our air defense. America's military and political leaders are keeping their plans secret, but they are being absolutely clear about one thing. This will be a new kind of war. In the past, there have been, you know, beaches to storm, islands to conquer. Hands up, hands up. It's an enemy that likes to hide and burrow in, but we're going to smoke them out. And we're adjusting our thinking to the new type of enemy. But what precisely does that mean, and who will do it? Well, the Delta Force operators uh, have been described to me as a haven for great soldiers who hate the Army. Mark Bowden is an author and journalist close to many soldiers in the Delta Force, an Army unit like no other. They dress in civilian clothing. Uh, they, they don't tell anybody uh, who they work for or what they do. A clandestine unit that has been secretly training for years to go after the likes of Osama bin Laden. Well, I know that there have been plans in place for years uh, for these units to go after Osama bin Laden and his group and uh, they were they're very they've been very frustrated for years because there's never been the uh, approval from the White House or the Pentagon. Delta is the military version of a police SWAT team. The Army's probably the most mature sophisticated soldiers who can conduct these lightning raids often in the dead of night and uh, and, and if they're successful you know can take down a house take uh, take prisoners, kill uh, people if necessary, but basically uh, be the uh, forward part of the spear in, uh, in fighting these groups. Bowden got to know Delta while writing the bestseller Black Hawk Down, which chronicles Delta's attempt to capture the renegade warlord Muhammad Adid in Somalia in 1993. That operation ended in disaster. But that same year, Delta helped Colombian police track and eventually kill the notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar. They successfully dismantled the Medellin cartel and left Pablo Escobar isolated, running from hideout to hideout with a single bodyguard until they finally caught up to him uh, on December 2nd of 1993 and killed him. The Colombians did the killing. Delta made it possible among other things, using small airplanes to track Escobar's communications. So that if they've targeted someone who's a member of the organization and they pick up a cell phone and make a phone call, they're not only able to listen to that phone call, they know where that person basically is standing. It was a dirty war in which Delta left the dirtiest work to Colombian assassination squads. They would begin targeting and basically murdering anyone associated with Pablo Escobar whether they were his relatives or his lawyers or his bankers or his accountants or his advisors or whatever their relationship was over a period from of about eight months in 1993 they were all either dead in jail or in hiding or fleeing the country will the same sort of dirty war work against osama bin laden anybody that expects to see osama bin laden uh, drawn and quartered at, uh, in, in times square is going to be sorely disappointed Noel Cook oversaw special operations at the Pentagon in the Reagan administration. He has no doubt Delta will go after bin Laden's camps in Afghanistan, and no doubt bin Laden will be long gone. I would expect that what we try to do is, is get into this area that we know that, uh, that Osama bin Laden and his people have inhabited. I don't think we're going to find anything, probably, but uh, mines and booby traps. Our options, if the Taliban refuses to turn over uh, Osama bin Laden, are not really to uh, invade Afghanistan or engage in the kind of Russian-style war, but basically, I think, probably to dismantle the Taliban's military. And even if Delta does capture bin Laden? Terrorism is not going to skip a beat. It'll just continue, so it's, it's naive to assume otherwise. In other words, getting bin Laden won't stop terrorism any more than getting Pablo Escobar stopped the flow of drugs into this country. Or as Defense Secretary Rumsfeld likes to say, it won't be quick, and it won't be easy.